We're going back to Montana. Back to Kalispell. So yeah, we made it back to Kalispell. I don't know if you saw the previous uh, episode five where we were finishing up, uh, getting out of here while the when the snow was flying. And if you haven't seen that one, what are you doing here? Go back, watch that one. Watch number five and four and three and two and one of the Kalispell house build. Uh, this is part six. Uh, we got back down to Reno and then uh, back eventually back down to beautiful Arizona for most of this last winter. And I'll have a number of videos coming up on what went down last winter in uh, beautiful Arizona and uh, be sure to come on back for those uh, but I figure we'll get the uh, build videos done here for the uh, house in Kalispell first and then uh, we'll uh, get on with uh, showing you what else we've been up to in uh, when we're not up here in Kalispell. So yeah as we uh, saw again in uh, episode five uh, we got everything basically ready for the winter got everything closed up and covered up and and uh, winterized enough to live in the house for the winter um, but uh, the plan is to was then to come on back in the spring or summer and get as much more done as we can and uh, try to finish it up getting back in june it can still be a pretty cold and pretty crappy and crummy uh during uh, may and so we chose uh to come on back in early june and uh, be able to hopefully the weather would cooperate and everything would be great and we'd be able to jump right in and uh, get uh, get a whole bunch more work done. A now. First uh, plan again the basement had been uh, was unfinished uh, the whole uh, and so the first plan of the action was to get that framed out so that we could get our other subcontractor electrical and plumbing contractors in uh, to get those Here's parts. Our basement dealt. area but that will be remaining basement so we've got again our radiant floor heat system here as well as a regular hot water heater for just the general hot water for the house water softener and uh, put in this little extra window for a little natural light up here but uh, so yeah 52 feet long 15 feet wide so this is the uh, downstairs bathroom should be nice great big almost eight by eight Got a five foot wide uh, walk-in shower enclosure going in there. Toilet over here. And uh, back in this corner, a nice 36 inch vanity base with a mirror above it. And then a big, nice big bedroom. That's uh, essentially 10 by 15 with a nice window facing west for some evening sun. But one of the key details that uh, you'll see in these, in these videos or the pictures um, was again this is a 15 by 52 foot uh, structure and uh, without any kind of a center support underneath the middle of that floor upstairs um, there it can give definitely some bounce to the floor um, so part of the plan was for me to put in a big double 2 by 10 beam support beam running down the entire center underneath and so I incorporated that into all of the framing for the lower levels um, and then up front here is going to be kind of a den slash family room area. There's our, our walk-in shower unit that uh, we worked out good. We actually, replacing that window, we had to pull the window out anyway. So we ran, shot that, pushed that through the, through the opening to get it in here and be ready for it to slide down the hallway tomorrow for the plumbers uh, to uh, put in down in the bathroom. So this is where we're at now. We've been back now for about almost two weeks. Got the downstairs all reframed and uh, the electricians were here the last couple days getting all the lower electrical roughed in. And so now while they were doing that, I'm working on getting the uh, T111 siding on the rest of the house here. And uh, that's gonna get, that's kind of the generic color. It's gonna get painted a dark, color a little darker than the main house's color and then uh, gonna still got to do trimming around and a belly band but uh, that's what's happening now plumbers coming tomorrow 
get the uh, rough in on the plumbing downstairs dealt with, and then we will be uh, ready to start uh, covering up yeah, some we'll walls downstairs. downstairs. Uh, used um, window for this spot that we put in last fall, and uh, over the course of the winter, they discovered it was really a piece of crap. And so, uh, luckily, uh, Lowe's had a Pella the right same exact size on sale right now, and uh, so she went and grabbed that one. And I just got that installed and mounted and uh, ready to go. So just got this siding dealt with back here. And so we're going to be finishing up this remaining section of the siding. And then we got uh, some more exterior trim yeah, to finish the, up. Uh, the framing was finished, then uh, actually Terry jumped in and jumped on a bunch of the insulation for the lower level. Um, uh, Robin and I also kind of helped out with a little bit of that. Also got a good vapor barrier on for the... Uh, on top of all that insulation and it was ready to get a little bit of a paneling on there. The old thunderstorm just blew through. Didn't phase Joe at all. Sorry, I don't have a carrot for you, Joe. What's up, buddy? entrance door down on the back as well as the <laughs> patio door to nowhere upstairs on the uh, uh, living room from upstairs was to get a mudroom built and a deck on the other side of the house as well as finish all the exterior uh, siding and trim details get it painted up get it looking finished on the exterior and uh, go on from there a little campsite down here ouch stepped on something there Thunderstorm just blew through. Got our own nice little private little wooded area here. studio. <laughs> yeah, and so unlike last uh, season or last year um, when we were so delayed and everything was set back and delayed and delayed, this year everything was dialed in really nice. We had the electrician and the plumber uh, lined right up to show up as soon as my framing was done and everybody just kind of fell right into place and uh, we were able to get a lot of the work done. All very right, quickly. so that's part six. So uh, come on back for part seven as we get closer to wrapping this thing up and uh, show you the finished, beautiful finished product here. So again, thanks for watching as always, guys. Have a great one.